Street photography, for me, on a personal level, is very important. I'm from America, but I'm living here now in Japan, in Fukuoka, Japan, for six years. Every year I've been able to document the city and preserve the memory, the history of a certain area. You know, how did people dress in uh, 2020? Um, were we wearing masks or not? Um, <laughs> Oh, thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Bye bye. Back when I visited Japan a long time ago, I didn't have a camera and I didn't take pictures. And all I had were my memories. And there are a lot of things that I forgot. I always wish that I had taken more photos. So in a way, I'm, I'm doing a lot of street photography these days because I want to uh, make sure that I'm not missing out on my memories. I like the fact that Japanese have this appreciation for the cameras and for photography. So when I go out and I'm doing street photography and I'm holding my camera, I feel more comfortable than when I'm in America or some other countries. Uh, especially here in Fukuoka, I find that people are very friendly, very open. I'm able to ask people for their photos uh, quite often. I really love that, I really appreciate that. I like I could just go up and just ask quickly you know, sashin ii desu ka? And, you know, I can get a yes or I can get a no, but more often than not, I get a yes. And that's really cool to me. It allows me to gain more connection to where I'm living, to the people living here in the city, in the place that I'm at.